Hey guys, I know it has been a while since I've actually done a video vlog to update you guys about what's going on. So this is going to be a prep update vlog so that you guys are all caught up on how things are going. The reason I haven't been able to actually do any sort of filming is because I have been so freaking tired. This has been a very, very difficult prep. Like I almost just feel like crying right now because I'm just so exhausted. Um, my other preps weren't this tough. Um, this prep has been really tough. Um, I also look the best I ever have, so there's that. But my body is just so tired. I don't have the energy to do anything, um, nor do I want to. I'm so emotionless. It's crazy. Like, my birthday just passed, like, two days ago, and I could even, I didn't even care it was my birthday. And, like, you know how you always just get like that giddy feeling you're like oh my gosh it's my birthday and you feel so special like i didn't feel anything at all because i'm just so tired <laughs> and uh, so dead all the time yeah that's why i just i haven't been able to to really film and update you guys so like i'll just kind of give you guys like an update about what i've been doing for the last couple of weeks so that you kind of get an idea of why i'm so exhausted things were like progressing really well like I thought I was doing really well I was so motivated I was like yeah I'm killing this prep up until about six weeks out and then shit started to like hit the fan and I was like freaking dead and my energy went it was already kind of like up and down but it just my mental capacity and my energy just was awful yeah so at six weeks out my coach added in 30 minutes of facet cardio in the mornings and then I was doing 16 minutes of hit prior to my workouts. And then my volume is still pretty high. So I was still at the gym for like probably two, two and a half hours on top of my cardio and my morning cardio. And then we decreased my carbs. So I'm taking in a total amount of carbs right now of um, 80 to 100 grams per day. And they were double that. So... We literally took out all my carbs and I'm not eating any fat. So right now I'm pretty much just eating strictly protein and vegetables. And I'm only eating like three cups of vegetables, which is not a lot. So my energy went from here to here very, very, very quickly. I Not that I'm the type of person who thrives on carbs, but some people do really, really well. They can do well without them, but I'm not eating carbs and I'm not eating fats. So I'm not getting really that help from either of those sources. And I'm pretty much strictly eating protein right now. So <laughs> I'm exhausted. Then at four weeks out, I went out to Ottawa to do a check-in with my coach to see how things were going. I got a little bit of a cheat meal. It wasn't like a full-blown cheat meal by any means. It was literally like he cooked me my cheat meal. It was like super healthy, which was good. It refueled me. I felt really good. But then my diet stayed the exact same. And now I'm doing... 45 minutes of facet cardio and then I have 45 minutes of cardio before bed plus I train. I am just exhausted, I'm tired, I feel like crap. The diet face has really come in like you can't really see it right now because I have a whole bunch of makeup on for this video but when I wake up in the morning these bags under these eyes are brutal. They're red, they're dark um, and I just wake up feeling like absolute garbage. Things are really tough. Right now, the way that I feel is I don't know if I'd ever prep again. I say that now because I'm literally feeling like I'm dying and I'm sure that will probably change. I feel like it's kind of like childbirth where they say that you don't remember the pain when it, after it's happened. So I'm hoping that my show is so rewarding and I love it so much that I forget all of this pain and then I'll just do it again. But um, who knows what's in store. I'm really excited for the end of this competing season and to go back to the gym, go back to the drawing board and build where I need to build. Cause it's funny, even though like I'm getting super lean and all that stuff, I am still a bodybuilder and there's still so many parts of my body that I want to improve. And I just want to jump into that already, probably cause I'm feeling like shit too right now and I want some food. My cravings are pretty bad. Following a whole bunch of like those Instagram food pages. Probably not the best idea, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is all I'm giving you guys today. I'll update you guys with another video when I get the chance to actually film.